Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I'm back with another 4K review. The month of April and May and June of 2021 is packed with 4K releases, so I'm just trying to keep up, and I'm finally getting able to check out um, Donnie Darko on 4K from Arrow Video. This is a new 4K presentation with Dolby Vision HDR and a limited edition packaging. So I'll talk through all of these things. This is a bit of an interesting review, which I'll cover. It's also a bit of an interesting review because the movie release so far has been a little controversial, maybe some issues. I'll talk about all that as well as the visual and audio quality and really whether or not I think this is worth upgrading over your previous Donnie Darko Blu-ray or maybe even your Arrow limited edition Blu-ray that came out a few years back. I have one of those, so I have comparison points for all of this, and I'll talk to it in this review. So before we get started, this is an odd review for me because I am doing this off of a demo disc. So Arrow Video did not have enough promo copies in the US, and they had some issues with the release, like I said, so I think that they kind of cut back on the retail versions that were available, but occasionally from time to time with studios like Arrow, I'll get a demo disc. And so that's what I have here. I just have the disc. This is the disc that comes with all of your retail copies. It's the same disc. It's just a bare bones you know, demo disc for review purposes. So I'm not able to show off some of the packaging, but I will kind of talk through what you get and show some pictures just real quickly in this review. But the big focus here is really gonna be on the visuals in the audio and whether there's an upgrade there and whether you should really go out and spend you know, $35 on this 4K release from Arrow. So on the visuals first, I'm gonna have some screenshots and comparisons for you here from My Moonization, which is a great channel for screenshot comparisons of many different 4K releases. Um, and you're gonna see a pretty clear difference, mostly in terms of the Dolby Vision and the HDR and the color timing. The previous Blu-ray was mastered in 4K, so it was already pretty good from a quality standpoint. This 4K release, the bitrate is not very high. It's not at the higher range. So the film grain is a little bit heavier than I would have liked to see. I think we could have got a bit more detailed of a picture, but ultimately it's, it's pretty good. A lot of the scenes look great. Some scenes better than others. Areas where it seems to struggle a little bit, especially with that grain structure is when it gets darker or when there's a very light image, like a white shirt on a dark background. That's where you start to see a little bit more of the, uh, the grain structure starting to fall apart. But I'd say for 90% of the movie, it's very consistent. The quality is very high. It has a very filmic look and feel. So it feels like a film print and that's what I want in my movies. So I was happy with that. But this Dolby Vision HDR is what's new to this release, and that really makes a big difference. Now, contrast and brightness, of course. Anytime you have HDR, especially Dolby Vision HDR, that helps in a big way with your contrast and your brightness. You really start to see a little bit more depth in scenes, and especially Donnie Darko, which is a fairly dark movie in a lot of places. You start to make out some more of the details, and the HDR helps with the black levels and the contrast. But the other big area where I saw an improvement was just the color timing, and especially when it comes to skin tones and sort of the brighter colors. You'll see in some of the screenshots here that it's very clear the previous Blu-ray release was a little muddy with their coloring. The skin tones were not right. They're much more authentic, much more realistic here on this new 4K with Dolby Vision. So I really appreciated that. And some of the highlights, the few that do happen in Donnie Darko, again, very dark movie, but a few highlights like close-ups on this eyeball, for instance, you can see how much brighter that image gets and how much brighter those primary colors are getting. So the HDR is really your big upgrade here. And I would say that would be a reason for me to upgrade. It is a big difference compared to the Blu-ray. Color is much better. You can make out more of the picture and it just gives a much better look and feel to the overall quality of this presentation. And so that's the big selling point. You're not getting a whole lot more in detail and the resolution helps just a little bit, but that 4K master on Blu-ray was already so good. The one thing it was missing was HDR and I preach this a lot, but HDR is one of the biggest, maybe the biggest benefit of moving to 4K. The color timing is so much more natural, so much more balanced on a lot of these releases, and Donnie Darko is no exception. Now, when we talk about the visuals for this release, I mentioned that there is some controversy and possibly some disc mastering problems or problems with equipment. 
A lot of people have said that their theatrical cut of Donnie Darko on 4K has been having some juddering and some frame rate issues. Things are kind of skipping and jumping all over the place. Now I've heard that this is primarily with either game consoles, so if you're playing it through say a PS5, uh, one of the Xbox systems on 4K, there's some frame rate issues and some juddering there that's wrong. And then uh, potentially Panasonic players, which is surprising because Everybody always tells me Panasonic is the best, the best player. It's the one you have to get. Um, and I personally have a Sony player to pair with my Sony TV. The Sony TV kind of pairs things up at 24 frames per second, which is nice for movies. It works really well with this player. And I'll say that with my Sony setup, I had absolutely no problems with the theatrical cut. It looked perfectly fine. There was no juddering. There was no frame rate issues. There was no jumping or skipping around. It looked uh, immaculate, really. I didn't have any issues. And the same goes with the director's cut, which I also have a disc of. There were no issues there either. So it does probably sound like Arrow may need to re-release this disc or provide a replacement for you know, some customers who may be having issues with game consoles or Panasonic. It's probably not even 100% for every game console and every Panasonic player. It could be connection between player and TV. It's still a lot to do with the technology and how things are talking to each other. We're still kind of working it out and we see these issues from time to time, but I'm sure Arrow will make it right. But I just wanted to put this out here. I was perfectly fine. I had no issues with it at all. Now in the audio, we've got the same DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 track that was available on the Blu-ray. So no real upgrade there. I could not tell a difference between the two tracks. So my assumption is, yes, it is exactly the same, but that is a very good track. Some of the highlights that really stood out to me, Frank's voice, that inner voice talking to Donnie is really, really striking in this round mix. It really comes at you, you know, almost fills the room as if, you know, it's in your head and it's all around you. Whereas the dialogue is very center focused. That kind of voice in his head is really wide scope. And I, I really found that to be one of my favorite audio moments of this release. The rest of it is very clear. It has its, you know, minor surround effects here and there. Although, you know, the Frank's voice obviously stood out to me dialogue remains clear throughout and any of the score and the soundtrack really do sound great so although we're not upgrading to say a dtsx or a dolby atmos this probably isn't a movie that necessarily a needed it and b would benefit from it so i'm happy with the 5.1 although you should know you're not upgrading in audio terms by getting this 4k release now i like i said i don't have the packaging i just have the discs and the other director's cut disc over there so no packaging to show off for you unfortunately but i'll put up some images here as is typical with Arrow Video, they do a very good job with their packaging. It's loaded with all kinds of special features, interesting little things within the package itself. And right now it's that, you know, first limited edition 4K release. Typically what Arrow does is there's the 4K limited edition or Blu-ray limited edition. And then within months later, they'll put out just a standard edition as well. So that is all for this review. I mean, overall, I would recommend this for a visual upgrade, but really only if you have Dolby Vision HDR. I played around with both the Dolby Vision and just a standard HDR10. I didn't see as big a leap with HDR10, which is interesting because I usually don't see a big leap or a big difference between HDR10 and Dolby Vision. But in this case, it feels like they really focused on that Dolby Vision mastering and the Dolby Vision is a big selling point. So if your TV doesn't offer that, you may not get that top level experience from this particular 4K disc that you'd probably be looking for for a $35 upgrade. Now, if you've never bought the movie before, as always, or most of the time is the case, this 4K disc is the best the movie's ever looked and it will be your best option. So if this is a first time purchase, I highly recommend getting the 4K. But if you're looking to upgrade, especially if you spent a lot of money on the previous Arrow Blu-ray, you may want to do your research. You may want to wait for a sale or wait for that standard edition. And certainly I would make sure you at least have Dolby Vision because that's going to be your biggest difference maker between the Blu-ray you have and this new 4K release. So I will leave a link down in the description where you can purchase the Donnie Darko 4K from Amazon. That helps support my channel, so I appreciate that. But also make sure you check out your local video stores like your Bull Moose or your Family Video Online or places like that, or buy directly from MVD or Arrow Video. That's always an option as well. Anyways, thank you for watching this review. I really appreciate all the support. Make sure you subscribe and like this video so others will see it. Share it wherever you want, Facebook, Reddit, 
Reddit, YouTube, wherever you want to post this thing, share it. Let's spread the word about physical media. I really appreciate that. Also, make sure you find me on Instagram and TikTok. Those are great places to get in touch with me on social media. And if you become a community member, we now have a Discord channel for members of this channel. Uh, there's a link to uh, become a member. It's just $2 a month, but that's something to check out if you're interested. It helps support me on a monthly basis. I'll never hide any content behind a paywall, but that's just a passive way to donate to the channel on a monthly basis at a very, very small rate, $1.99 a month. So if you do that, I appreciate it. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I want to thank Arrow for getting this out to me, even though it's just a demo disc. I had to check it out, especially with all the controversy going around. So that was important and really clutch of them to send this out to me quickly so I could get this video out for you. So thank you to them. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I will talk to you guys soon.